darlings, and welcome to Elysian Kitchen, the home of sensual cooking. Where today we'll be making capizzoli di vene, or nipples of Venus. I couldn't find anything about the history of the dessert, though some claim the nipple's origins go as far back as Caesar's reign. I believe most people recognize this dessert from the movie Milo's Foreman's Amadeus, 1984. Let me offer you some, uh, some uh, refreshments. Do you, do you know what these are? Capezzoli di Venere, nipples of Venus. <gasps> They're Roman chestnuts in brandied sugar. Try one. Go oh, on, try one. This dessert is perfect for, of course, Valentine's Day, but also a date with yourself or your lover, cocktail parties, or girls' night. With the kind of lifestyle art I share on this channel, it's a recipe I'd make often. For drink pairings, this dessert pairs well with wines such as these. And less specific drink pairings, liquors like Armagnac, Sherry, Rum, Cognac, and Brandy. Today, I will be pairing our nipples with Stati Greco, a Bianco Greco wine. In this recipe, I will be making the dark chocolate myself. Though you could just choose to buy dark chocolate, I believe raw cocoa beans are much more decadent. Okay, now we'll make our first ingredient, the dark chocolate. You'll need to pour yourself one cup of cocoa nibs and add to that three tablespoons of powdered sugar. After which you'll mix and grind in a coffee grinder until you start to hear this sound. That means your dark chocolate is complete. You might need to do that a few times. It should look like this in the end. Now add five tablespoons of room temp butter to a mixing bowl with a spatula. Then add one third cup of powdered sugar and paste together into something like this. Next, you'll grind your 400 grams of chestnuts and add all of that to your mixing bowl. Then add a pinch of cayenne and salt. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Then add one quarter cup of brandy and mix together thoroughly. Then you can add your dark chocolate and mix that all together very thoroughly. Next, place your mounds like this with a scooper onto a baking sheet lined with plastic wrap and put that in the fridge to harden. Now with your eight ounces of chocolate, separate 20% of it and melt the rest. Then add the 20% to the melted chocolate like this. And pour your melted tempered chocolate onto your mounds like this. Pushing the mounds off with a spoon will help place the mounds onto the tray without them tipping over. This is a very careful process. It should look like this in the end. Now with one third cup of icing sugar and enough milk to make a very thick paste and your desired amount of red powdered food coloring, make your icing. Next you'll take your icing and put it in a plastic bag and cut the tip off 
so that you can pipe on little nipples on top of your mouth. This is the fun part and you can make as wide of nipples as you like. Now place your white chocolate coated mounds in the fridge to harden. Once your nipples are hard, they're all complete. And now your beautiful nipples are complete. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a lovely evening. And as a finale, this is my Valentine's Day outfit for my date. I hope you've enjoyed. <laughs>